going on? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for being here. Listen, I always tell people how I trade every day and I I kind of found a soft spot for myself, a little niche with SPY. So I love to play SPY off of the 15 minute chart and I love to manage it off of the five minute chart. It really reduces my risk the most. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do that. So I've got a ton of videos out there showing how I do this. Here's another one. This is from um, Monday, May 1st. So again, this is this has kind of been my bread and butter. It's what I go to every day. It's what I look at the most. I can sit on this by 15 minute chart and just look for trades and look for stuff to trade into time frame continuity if you're watching this live you can you can add comments in the chat section if you want to know something otherwise if you're watching this on a recorded version feel free to leave comments in the comment section or i'm on twitter at mr clark griswold you can do it there there's a link to my discord it's free to join there's a ton of free rooms in there you can you can ask me questions there as well so i'm on a replay version here on trading view and i'm basically this is the first candle of the opening bell. Okay, so I trade into time frame continuity. So as long as this hourly and daily are green, I'm looking for reversals for me to take trades to the upside. Now we have the week, the month, the quarterly, and the yearly, all of this full time frame continuity to the upside. That that's bonus for me. So anything past the day is a bonus, meaning it's a higher probability that the trade works out in my favor so now again like I said anything above this purple line this day is going to be green anything below this purple line the day is going to be red now you can do that on the hourly for yourselves it works the same way as it would on the hourly anything above the the hourly candle is uh, the purple where it opens is green anything below it is red so we opened here so anything opened above is green anything below is red so now what I'm looking for is a reversal back down. And now that we have this, I'm looking to go back to the upside based off of time frame continuity. This is telling me right here, everything, not everything, but it's telling me a lot of what I need to know. It's telling me that the hourly, the daily, the weekly, the monthly, there's buyers there. It's, it should be trending up. So what do I do? I put my trigger there. Okay. And then I hop down. Now we can even do this. Let's go ahead to the next 15 minute bar and I'll show you. So what happens here, guys, look, that becomes my target. So this is the trigger. This is the target. Did we hit that target? Yes. So now how do I manage this trade? I need to, let's do this. There we go. I'm going to have to leave it in this view for you guys. So let's go to the five. Okay, so I've gone down to the five minute. I set my triggers and targets on the 15 and I hop down to the five. So this, these are the, the next three bars on the, the 15. So we set our trigger and we, we went up, we hit targets. And listen, there's two places that you can stop yourself out here. As this comes up through this target and then reverses back through that target, you can take your profit there or once it comes down through this this uh, trigger you can take your stop loss there or the third option you wait for it to reverse out of the previous candle so now we have a two down uh, red here okay so stop loss opportunity one for profit stop loss opportunity on this yellow probably for a small loss and stop loss opportunity three is the bottom of that five minute candle. Once this candle crosses that and let me put a, I'll just put this in here for you guys so you can see what I mean and we'll change that to red. Okay. So stop loss opportunity one, stop loss opportunity two, stop loss opportunity three. Okay. So as soon as this red candle comes through that, you'd be out. I would be getting out. I, I probably, to be honest, I would have, I would have taken this somewhere as we come back through this first target, I'm getting out. 
because that's allowing me to take profit out of this trade. Okay, and, and your number one job as a trader is to manage risk. And what better way to manage risk than to take profit on a trade when you come back reverse through that target? Worst case that I would have done would have been for me to take a small loss as it reverses through this original trigger. Okay, so now let's let's go back to the 15 minute because that trade is now done. Okay, so we look for the next one. We're still on the 15. This is a two down that finished green. Okay, so I'm looking for that reversal back to the upside again. So there's trigger one and there's my target. Okay, so I'm looking to come through that target. I thought I had other targets up here further. Maybe I didn't. So let's go back real quick. I'm going to add in some targets for us. Way back here. And we have to go far back to get these targets. Okay. So I'm going to add one. Put it there. And we'll move it up and we'll change it to green. Okay, and then we can put one more. Way up here. Uh, where did it go? Okay, let's do this again. Right up there. Okay. So now that we have that set up, zoom back in. And again, I'm just looking for the break here, okay? I'm looking for the break off of this bar now on the next. And we can go to the five minute right now. So now that we've set our trigger, let's go to the five, okay? And then let's do our replay off of the five minute. Boom. Guys, it's that. That's what it is. And you're done. You could be done for the day off of this trade right here. And so now you have opportunity. You can keep your stop loss there. Or you can keep your stop loss there. Okay. For me, I'd probably put it there because I'm not willing to, to, to risk any of the profit that I've already taken. I don't care if this runs way higher. Let's go to the next five minute candle and see what happens. Okay. So it comes back down and through and I'm out. Okay. I don't care about the rest. It doesn't matter. Let's go to the next, uh, we'll switch back to the 15 here. And come back through, okay? So now we're all the way back down here. We had that outside bar. So if we switch back to the five to see what happened, like, yes, okay, I, I didn't, we didn't get this top here. Okay, we didn't get all that. So what? You're never going to call the top. But this trade and this trade that we had earlier set you up for the day. You could be done for the day off of two trades. It's, it really is that simple. So now we look. Okay, so let's switch back to the 15. And we just wait for another reversal back to the upside. Okay, so let's see when that happens. So we come all the way back down. And yes, could you have had a fantastic trade off of here? Yes, you could have, but that's not what I'm looking for, okay? I don't care, and the reason I'm not is because of this. Time frame continuity. This is not in my favor, okay? I need this day to be pointing to the downside, and it's not until I cross this purple line. Okay, so let's go to the next one. Now I have an inside bar. What does that tell me? I can look off of this inside bar, I can look for a break, back to the up side okay so let's switch to the five okay and now as we go through there's one okay so we've broken through this becomes your stop loss okay breakthrough okay there we go out of that trade.
Okay, we're out. Now what you can do is wait for another break above that yellow line. Okay, so you're out of this trade for a small loss. What do we get off of the next candle? Okay, so now you can jump in this trade again. Okay, and your stop loss goes to the bottom here. And again. Okay. And again. And we're just we just move our stop losses up. That's all we have to do. And again, and you can move your stop loss up. And you can move and you can put it here, you can put it here. You can put it to this target if you want. It doesn't matter. Okay? There's the next one. You can leave it at that target that we've already established. Either one, or you can move it there. Okay? There's another two up green. Okay? And this is a simple look, look, boom, boom. So now you can have your target, your stop loss there or there. Okay? Let's say you want to inherit a little bit more risk. So you're going to put your stop loss there. Okay? And you're still going up. Okay. So now you've got all of these, all of these setups, all of this. This is such a big gain. This would have set you guys up for the rest of the day. Okay. There's another one. Just move your stop loss up. It really is this simple guys. It's this simple. I, I get chills talking to you guys about this because this can change what you guys have seen forever. What you guys have done forever. You don't need all these lines and these charts on your on your on your screen you just need to let the candlesticks stop you out that's it okay boom out of the trade you come through there done you're out don't look back don't hold on cut your trade take your profit okay so now we go and and again at this point guys there's no reason for you guys to trade anymore like i can go through this and we can keep going at this point of the day, what are you even trading for anymore? You've gained so much, take your money and move on to the next day. Because that next 15 minute candle, look what happens. Okay? It came up and it came back down. You get stopped out for a loss. Okay? You're giving back profits at this point. So there is no reason for you, if that trade that we just went through, if we go back to the five minute chart, and I, I could talk to you guys about this stuff all day, all day. If we go back to this trade, I looked it up and I can't give you an exact number of what it was, but depending on, you know, when, when I'm taking options contracts on this, whatever the trigger price is. So let's say our trigger price was right here. Okay. So that's 416.38. I'm looking for a 417 strike price and I take same day expiries because I'm I'm not in this trade at, like for any time at all. Okay? Like I can't remember where we exactly entered, but let's just call it here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 minutes in out. This trade was at least at minimum you made 20% depending on where your expiry date was, but it was 20% plus. Uh, 20%, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80%, depending on your expiry and on your strike price, this sets you up for the rest of the day, depending on how you trade for the rest of the week. And, and it really is this simple, guys. It's, it's not any harder than what we just went through. It's setting your triggers and your targets on the 15-minute chart, okay? Triggers and targets get set on the 15, hop down to the 5 to manage it. And the reason we hop down to the five is because these candles are much, much smaller. So when we're getting out of the trade here on the five, if you're waiting on the 15, you're getting out much further down, okay? We'd have to move this all the way down here, okay? Or here, I guess, would be your stop loss. If we're, if we're staying on the 15, okay, and you want to use the 15-minute candles, let me show you. Boom. Now your stop loss is here instead of where we had it up here. Okay. That's why I manage on the five. The five reduces the amount of risk that you have on your play. That's why I use the five. I'm, I'm not here to hide anything from you guys. I'm not here to 
pretend like this is something that works all the time. This is something that works the majority of the time. You're going to have losses on it because it doesn't work all the time. But we're playing high probability setups where we're looking at time frame continuity in one direction. Okay, We're looking at, at setups on the 15 and managing on the 5. And it really is as simple as that. And, and it can change the way you trade. It can... I, I'm so passionate about this and what I do here. It can change your life, guys. This stuff can change your life. It can change absolutely everything you do. It can help your family. It can help your friends. The amount of time that this gives you. 45 minutes out of my day and I'm done for the day. To do what I want with the rest of my day. To spend it with my kids. To go to my kids' field trips with them. To do what I want to do. This stuff will change your life. Okay, learn it, grow with it, subscribe, and watch the videos on how this strategy works. And you don't have to use it on just SPY. This strategy works on every ticker symbol. You want to use it on crypto, you want to use it on the, uh, the, the financial market, it does not matter. You want to use it with uh, futures, it works. Okay, there's a ton of people that use this. I'm not the only one. I didn't create this strategy. I narrowed it down to find my niche on SPY, on the 15, and the 5. You don't have to use those exact parameters, but it's what I found to work for me. Okay, And I want to share it with you guys because I want it to work for you. And hopefully it does. Hopefully this was informational. Hopefully you guys are going to use it, going to gain some money, make some money, and grow your accounts. Don't full port your accounts. Manage your risk. Okay, so if you have a thousand dollar account, trade it a hundred dollars, trade it a hundred dollar per contract, or you know whatever, whatever it was. So if it's seventy eight cents a contract, buy two contracts. And yeah, it sucks because twenty percent, twenty. Let's just say it's a hundred dollars a contract. Okay, twenty percent on that is forty dollars. Okay, it's it's not great, it's not fantastic, but you do that five days out of the week. You doubled that two hundred dollars. You've now you you earned two hundred dollars extra that week. Okay, how would an extra eight hundred dollars help you guys? Okay, and then just grow it. Okay, continue to grow. Maybe you don't need to use that eight hundred. Add it to your account. So now you have two thousand dollars in your account. Okay, so maybe now you can trade with three hundred dollars per contract. And now your forty dollars just turned into sixty dollars. And I'm not saying you're going to earn twenty percent every day on this. Okay. I'm just using it as an example, but grow that account. This is not a get rich quick scheme. Okay. It's not a magic potion to, to make you magically rich and quit your job in two months. You need to grow this. You need to learn this. Okay. But if you do it the right way, if you, if you can grow it and you can do it slowly and, and learn to do this consistently and protect your capital, that is the main issue. That's the main thing that people have, uh, trouble with when they're trading is, is protecting their, their YOLOing. They have a thousand dollar account. They're taking $800 worth of contracts. Now, if you lose, you can't spend that same $800. That's why I say spend the 200 bucks. And if you lose 10%, you've lost 20 bucks. You still have that same $200 in your account to trade with on the next trade because you have a thousand dollar account. It gives you five opportunities to make money, probably more than five opportunities because you're not losing $200 on every trade because we're cutting our trades if they don't work, okay? At least you should be. You shouldn't be letting these things go to zero. Let the candlestick stop you out. If you have more than a 30% loss, you're doing it wrong, okay? You just are. You can't grow an account with 30% losses and what happens is you get 30, 40, 50, 60% losses and then you get nervous when you're up 10% and you just take your 10%. You don't let the candlestick stop you out like we just showed you on this video. You let the target stop you out like we showed you in this video. You get nervous and you're like 10%, I'll just take it. So you're you're incurring 30, 40, 50, 60, 70% losses, but you're only gaining 10 and that's why you can't grow your account. Okay? Do this the right way, guys. And what you're seeing here is the right way. One of them. Okay, it's not the only right way to do things, but it's one of them. Okay, manage your risk, 
learn to manage your capital and control your capital, you guys will be a profitable trader. Watch your videos, subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. I love I I, I feel blessed and grateful to be able to do this for you guys. I, re I really, truly do. Um, and you know what? You know, leave a comment section in the comment section. Leave leave a note on on why you think you're struggling with trading the most. And I'm going to pick somebody. I'm going to send them my book that I wrote um, on trading psychology. Okay, so leave that comment in the comment section below. We'll send you guys a free book. Good luck in your journey, guys. If you have questions, make sure you're asking them. Get in on the Discord. Follow me on Twitter. And we'll see you guys all in the next video.